I thought that I made sure that your invitation got lost in the mail. You crush me. I'm here to share in your big day and to show my support. And these guys, did you make these? They're awesome. Thank uh, you. Mother, will you excuse us, please? Oh, I'd be happy to excuse your husband right over the rail. Val, uh, you mentioned that you spoke to Ryan. Now, you didn't spill Greenlee's secret, did you? Sorry. Sorry. He's in a bad place. He's only fooling himself and maybe Greenlee. But definitely Greenlee. She thinks that life is going to go back to being heavenly after Ryan feels the first kick. But I hope she's right. And if she's wrong? Stay with her. She needs you more than ever. Excuse me while I borrow your wife for a second. Mm. Kendall, Greenlee, Ryan, would you come over here, please? I just wanted to thank you before everybody else arrived. I am so grateful to have you three with me here today. It's such an exciting day. I knew it wouldn't be the same without me. Mother, mother, you're going to have an amazing debut. You should be really, really proud. Thanks. Hi. How long before showtime? OK, I'm warning you. You are here for only one reason, and that's because I love my daughter. So do I. I want all of America to know about it. One wrong move, and I will show all of America how to bring down an arrogant sack really fast. Have a little help, Erica. I'd be very happy to oblige. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ryan. But I can handle this. And I will. <laughs> Who launched the tiny torpedo? Well, it's not the hors d'oeuvres or even me that's making Greenlee hurl. I think it's, it's morning sickness. Oh my gosh, she's pregnant. There is no way that Greenlee can handle the spotlight in her condition. If she has a condition. Well, we won't know until she takes the test after the press show. Now, if Ryan finds out and puts it together, then losing her lunch might be the best hey, event hey, of the hey, entire hey, day. Hey, you're a wreck. That's because I, I took your advice and I tried to help Greenlee, but I, Zach, I don't, I don't know what to do right now. I don't know how to do it. All right, we'll just we'll try to keep the focus up when she's on stage. Well, you don't do stand-up, and I left my accordion at home, so now what? Play the accordion. I'll take care of it. Trust me. It's the scariest thing you've said to me all day. People, Erica's about to take the stage. My new daughter Greenlee and her husband Ryan. And last but not least, my daughter, Kendall, and her husband, Zach. All right, guys, this is, uh, sorry, this is, this is amazing. What an amazing woman you are. You inspire me, and we love you. And this is Erica Kane. So I'm wearing my friend's shoes. Unfortunately, there are two members of my family who aren't able to be with us here today. My beautiful daughter, Bianca, and her beautiful baby daughter, Miranda. They live in Paris, but they are definitely here with us today in spirit. Uh, really? Are you okay? You and Ryan, you have just yeah. celebrated your first wedding anniversary. I mean, you are still virtually newlyweds. No, sorry, Jack. I, I think um, we are the real... Newlyweds at this clam bake. And uh, I'm not much of a public speaker, but I... you're my jackpot. Um. Thank you. I'm going to be sick. Uh, excuse me, Greenlee needs me. Um, um, uh, my friend needs me. Excuse me. Excuse me. My wife needs me. Nothing's wrong with Greenlee. Greenlee made a stop on the way here. Or some sushi. Sushi? Before this spread? Yeah, well, you know, Greenlee's tiny. She needs constant refueling. Anyway, the sushi looked a little off, and I, you know, I, I passed on it, but she went ahead and filled up on the California rolls, and so I think she's paying for it now. Well, if it's food poisoning, I should call a doctor, so. No, it's okay. She'll be fine. Just let me take care of her. And what do you want? She'll be all right. What are you, a, what are you, a doctor now? Look, I don't need your reassurance, Slater, so just back off. 
How's your anger management working? Does one hand even know what the other one's doing? Maybe you should pop another chill pill, take the edge off. Erica! Did we wow them, or did we wow them? Huh? I mean, we clicked in front of that camera. Oh, those cameras saved you from being slapped silly. Well, next time, don't censor yourself. Just keep it real. Do what you want to do. Next time? Yeah, I thought, you know, maybe I could be a regular on your show. You just keep your hands and your lips off me and my daughter. Don't be that way. Give me another chance. How about you and I have a new beginning? <sighs> I can't promise you a new beginning, Zach. But if you don't lay off, I can promise you a very tragic ending. <laughs> I don't need a rage sponsor. I was worried about Greenlee. So am I. Hey. You busy? What'd you have in mind? Romance. All right, let me take a quick shower and we'll... No, 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 no. This is for Greenlee and Ryan. I told her that I would give them the VIP casino suite tonight. I mean, it's the perfect setting for her to tell Ryan the news. It's, it's intimate, it's private, no prying eyes. Except ours. Exactly. What do you think? I think it's genius. If it works out the way that we're hoping, then everything's going to be fine. If it doesn't, we'll be right there. So I'm going to head over there now and set up and just be there in case Greenlee needs me. I'll come with you. You don't have to. I know. Whatever happens, Greenlee's got one hell of a friend in you. Uh, you're not such a bad friend yourself. Stay here wasn't a pleasant one. This one will be. Staff will get you whatever you want. Kendall took care of everything. And if the staff doesn't come through, we'll take care of you. It's what we do. Question is why? Ryan, don't look a gift sweet in the mouth. It's okay, Greenlee. Ryan, I know I've caused a lot of problems between the two of you, and I'm done. No more. This is my apology. Which I accepted. Can you, Ryan? Please. Well, I am a dark chocolate kind of guy. We took care of it. Yep, we got the chips, the full bar, and a fantastic room service menu. Enjoy your stay. Hey, enjoy your stay. Until she tells Ryan she's pregnant and it all goes to hell. God, I hope this is going to be OK. You can't shake it, can you? There's a bomb in the VIP suite. You cut the green wire, you cut the red. Either way, the roof is going to blow off this joint. And then, then there's Greenlee. I have no idea what to do with her. You know what? This bubble water this is not cutting it either. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out something. Is it, is it the hair or the eyes? Back up and blink already. I think it's definitely the eyes. Gotta be the eyes. Did you just ogle me? Because I swear to God, if you did, then Your that's... eyes, they distract people. So they don't notice how huge your ego is. Are you trying to pick a fight? Is this what you're trying to do here? You're trying to make me forget that Greenlee is about to tell Ryan she's pregnant with his baby against his wishes? Is this what you're trying to do? Well, hello, I have not forgotten. So go ahead and save your insults for some other sucker. Eyes big, ego bigger. This is fascinating. You know what? Explain already before I severely hurt you. Would you please explain already? You're certain that whatever you think is true. If it hasn't happened already, it will. Ergo, ego. You're sure that Ryan and Greenlee are in a crash and burn here tonight, right? Whoa, wait a second. You, you're the one who told me that Ryan would freak out and Greenlee would crumble and I would need to be there to help her. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. You can't change it and you can't fix it, no matter what your ego is telling you. Okay, okay. well, if you would just stop annoying me, maybe I could figure this out. <laughs> What are you trying to do to me? I'm trying to cheer you up. Really? <laughs> well, good job. I'm gonna go kill my dealers. It's such a mistake to let us in here. We can't lose. It's impossible. Can we try again, please? Excuse me, I'm gonna go catch the chips, get the evening started. I'll be back. Is she OK? 
Okay. It could work. This, them. Or is that my enormous ego talking again? Oh my God. I know your secret. All right. Pretty decent take tonight. Get six buses from the uh, senior home. Please. You would rather talk about gambling grannies than hear your secret? Come on, ask me what I know about you. I would think that in order for my secret to matter, I'd have to uncover it myself. See, there it, there, that, that's it. That's your secret right there. You do this whole zen, vague, man of few words, so I must be really smart thing. Thank you for the compliment. Who does that? Who, who lets their wife say, I know your secret, and then doesn't even ask what the secret is? Someone very smart, apparently. You know what you suck at besides everything? Communication, which everyone knows is the key to a decent marriage. No, the key to a decent marriage is saying yes, dear, and I'm sorry about six times a day. You are such a jerk. Yes, dear, and I'm sorry. Gonna go see the pit boss? Don't miss me too much. I miss you at all. They went to the gazebo where Ryan was shot. Wait a second. Where are we going? Oh, maybe you missed something. Ryan and Greenlee are at the gazebo, i.e. the place that Ryan was shot by his lunatic brother. Now, if you think I'm going to let Greenlee declare motherhood there, then you're about as crazy as Ryan. Greenlee's going to tell Ryan what she wants, where she wants. And we're only going to step in when she's in trouble, not before. Her head is in the clouds, Zach. She thinks love can save the day. How many times have I saved Greenlee from herself? Today, you can add this one to the list. What would you do if I hauled off and smacked you right in the mouth? If you pop me in the kisser, I will give you a baby slapping procedure of your own, courtesy of my size six stiletto. After that, if you can still walk, you better run, because I will get my nice little stepdaddy over here to give me an annulment, and then I will get everything you own. You still want to take a swipe? That's the woman I married. What is this, a test? You think this is funny, raising my blood pressure? The difference between you and Greenlee is she thinks if she hangs around long enough, she can fix Ryan. And that's a disaster waiting to happen. She can't save Ryan any more than you can save Greenlee now. I'm gonna stay here and see what happens. Trust me. You were kind of getting off on the idea of popping me one, weren't you? Never crossed my mind. Great. Finally, you agree we should come here and they're gone. Well, maybe they went back to the suite. No, but what if Greenlee told Ryan that, that she's pregnant and, and he freaked out and he took it out on her? She would have found you. No, I, I should have come out here earlier, Zach. I have to go and find them. What is that? I believe those are the northern lights. I think it's a sign. A sign? Yeah, yeah, a sign. I mean, look at where we are, Zach. This is where I shot at Ryan last September. I don't, I don't understand. Love, love. It, it took me to the, the darkest place of my soul. I don't understand. No, and this, this, this is why I freaked out when Ryan and Greenlee were here, because of how I felt that night when I was here. How did you feel? I felt lost. Lost in pain and rage. Like, the only way I could get rid of my pain was to inflict it on someone else. That's what happens to me when I fail in love, which is why I never want to fall in love ever again. But look at me. I'm here. I'm still standing. I didn't fall back into the darkness. I don't know, maybe the sky is just washing me clean of the nightmare I felt that night. Maybe I'm finally free of it all. It's a sight to see. What? what what's wrong with you? <laughs> Come on, you see some lights in the sky and you get all soft on me? Don't do that. Uh, what? Oh, okay, hardly. I, I, I still do not believe in love at all. I, I think it's, it's crazy and, and I don't want to fall in love ever again. It's not right for me. I believe that love is crazy-making. It can destroy people. I've 
destroying mine and Greenlee as we speak. Yeah, but what if these lights are a sign for Ryan and Greenlee also? I mean, what if, what if Ryan's nightmare was erased like mine? Greenlee decided to get pregnant against her husband's wishes. I don't think magic lights are going to make that disappear. Yeah, but Zach, love works for some people. And maybe it'll work for them. Tonight's a special night. Maybe Ryan will be saved. So you want to bet you half the casino that love itself will cure Ryan? Or? Not really. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling for them to work this out. Yeah. Self-destructive men shouldn't have children. Doesn't matter how they were conceived. You know that, and I know that. Okay, well, I'm trying to be the supportive, non-judgmental friend that my husband told me to be. Doesn't mean I've forgotten how dangerous Ryan's become. You know what? Maybe Greenlee is the dangerous one because she believes 100% that she's doing the right thing. You know, these, these lights up here, they're gonna be nothing compared to the fireworks that go off in that VIP suite when she tells them the truth. Can we get the VIP suite? Yeah. There's no sound, only picture. Okay, we'll make sound. Oh, God. Zach, he knows. Greenlee told Ryan. And he's not handing out cigars, is he? Come on, Ryan, come on, Ryan, reach out to her. Come on, tell her she did the right thing and how incredibly happy you are. Maybe you're expecting too much. Just because you blew it as a father doesn't mean that Ryan will. Look at her face. Risking everything, putting it all out there. God, please don't let him hurt her. His face is a blank. What's going on? Calm before the storm. Zach, look. Look, she's doing it. Greenlee's getting through. Oh, God, please, please, please let this be all good. What is he doing? What, what pills? What, what, what is he taking? It's, uh, it's a, some kind of a rage thing that Hayward gave him. Okay, well, well do we get in there? No, not yet. Give us some time. Trouble. They're in trouble. Hey, if you barge in there, you're gonna send them over the edge. I don't. I'm not afraid of Ryan. You should be. If anyone goes in, that's gonna be me. <laughs> 